Good evening. Good evening. I'm Roxy Royal, 57 Farringdon Street here in the city of Newburgh. I'm a longtime resident in the city of Newburgh. I had five children go through the uh, school system here in Newburgh. My grandchildren went through the school system. I've got great grandchildren that have been in the school system here. And, you know, I really don't even know Ms. Vaughn, but I've heard a lot of good things about her here tonight and also in the community. And I'm not here tonight to make a long speech, but I'm here tonight because we're looking for justice. All right. Why not use the same standards of justice for everyone that's involved? If all the school personnel that were involved in the same incident of the same crime, why not judge them equally? Why get rid of one and allow the others to resign with no results? If you if, don't, you realize if this woman loses her job, this is going to be on her record. Yeah, that's right. It's going to be hard for her to get another job, mm -hmm. and jobs are not that easily come by today. Yeah, so true. And as we have heard tonight, she's almost indispensable oh, yes. with the children in the school system. Mm -hmm. So. We're looking, as I said, for justice. Here from you, elected officials to the school board yes. that we, the community, voted and put into office on this board to deal with the problems of the school system. All right. All right. So we're asking again, I say we're asking for justice. And tonight, the community is not satisfied with the type of justice All right. that is being perpetrated here. Thank you. So true. Hi everyone, my name is Marco Cordero. I live in 374 South Street. I've been living in the city of for 25 years. I graduated from in 1992. I'm here because uh, my daughter is home. Uh, maybe she's going to be playing four games. She's going to be punished for uh, last year, uh, maybe late or absent that uh, she was doing in school. Um, yes. I'm asking you that I don't think it's okay to punish the kids for playing any sport. Um, I guess all mistakes are from for, for the parents, not for the kids. My daughter was in school every morning, so she, she was taking my son. I mean, she was waiting, she had to wait for the bus. Right. And after that, she was going, I live a block from NFA. Mm -hmm. She's gonna graduate this year. So what I'm asking you is that, I don't know that's true, but that's what she told me, that maybe she's gonna be punished three or four games. You know, this season coming. So I don't know that's true or not. That one the punishment that last year was uh, any so plain <coughs> so absence. Based upon a, a policy that uh, was currently in place that took effect December of 2010, uh, but that is a policy that has been tabled this evening for further discussion, um, specifically around meetings that have taken place with district personnel, so uh, that has not been determined at this time. Okay. All right, so it's, no, it's nothing set, right? It's, it's, it's nothing set, correct. Okay. The last thing I want to say is that she gave me the rule, the new rules about uh, to be part of the team. One of the rules say all the students must maintain 90% attendance in every class. I mean, that's great. I mean, that's something that we need. Um, I agree 100%, and I hope we can, uh, we can keep this, um, we can keep all the kids in all the sports. Uh, 
uh, <coughs> grade year, seeing that I was having trouble with stuff, and she worked with me every day. I had teachers telling me I would never be nothing just because I'm from the hood, and that's just the way it is. Not so. Um, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> um, she was accused of giving. <laughs> she was accused of giving basketball players extra treatment or special treatment, whatever, whatever it is. I want to know why it was why were these so-called basketball players allowed not to attend some school this year and graduate when I had to attend some school, walk some school every day, whenever, whenever it was Monday to Friday, every day. And if I missed a day, well, if I missed two days, I was gonna get. He does some um, summer school and would have returned this year. We have a Sorry, Sorry. 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 Would have we, would have to have returned the following year. Why were these basketball players allowed to graduate without attending summer school, given tutors paid by taxpayers of the city? All right. Rocco Sanger, Bates, uh, Newburgh, I'm also an employee of the district, and I have a couple of questions and a couple of comments on what everybody said. My one question is the same question that was asked of the board uh, at one of the meetings at Gidney Avenue. Um, it was brought up that in December of 2009 that the uh, board voted to suspend, I believe, the attendance policy for the month of December. And that was never answered. That was tabled for further discussion. All right. Also, that summer, out of a four-week summer school program, members of the basketball team were allowed to go to a two-week basketball program. Okay. I don't know how many of you knew that. Wow. All right. I think we need to keep our eye on the ball here. I don't think the unfairness is in that Mrs. Bonsardino is being investigated. I think the unfairness is that the principal and the director were allowed to slip it away. <laughs> they were, they were like being I don't think there's a person in this room. The other comment I'd like to make is that uh, Mrs. Fuchek used the, um, the term alleged in the beginning of the meeting, but it is no longer alleged because it was said by Mr. Shaw that it was, it was uh, found that Members of the NFA administration absolutely lied and did not uh, did not adhere to those rules. All right, so that's not alleged when that comes out. So I think you know all the comments were good. Parents should be responsible. Kids should be responsible. But that's not the point of this. The point is when you entrust people and pay them. A hell of a salary to ensure that they make sure, to ensure that your kids go to school and go to class and they don't do that. There's something wrong. Something wrong. And as far as this investigation, I mean, I've been following it for six months now. I'm thinking that maybe the Guinness Book of Records should come in and uh, I put that in their book. <laughs> How long does it take? You have all the records, you have the attendance records, they stated daily what was going on, they stated what the reasons were for the cuts. I mean, it's from the computer. There's nothing else to do here. I mean, justice, you want justice? I believe in justice. I believe everybody should pay that was involved in it. And like Mr. Sussman said in the beginning, Unless you deal with that, you're not moving on. All right. Everybody needs to be held accountable. Yes. Everybody here is accountable on their jobs. Hey, that's true. We all need to be accountable. You need to be accountable. 